Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Hugh Quintana, KK7DTF. And uh, Hugh is asking this question. I live in Yuma, Arizona, and don't have a whole lot of property for an 80 and 40 meter dipole. Question, is there a way to make a solar panel look alike, something that looks like a solar panel antenna that could go on my roof or a window with the antenna in the glass like auto windshields have with an SO239 in the corner? Um, I wanna address this in two parts. Before we do that, I'd like to pay a special thank you to Wesley Cardone, N8QM, who is a brand new patron on patreon.com. You too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash KE0OG and finding a way that works for you. So let's take a look now uh, at this question. There are two things I want to talk about. First, I want to address the solar panel lookalike. Uh, second, I want to address other options he may have if his yard isn't very big. Okay, so he doesn't have a very big yard. So we'll look down in his yard. And then a 40 meter dipole would be 66 feet going from corner to corner. And if that's not going to work, you need something smaller. Um, now, what his thought is, is to go up on the roof with a solar panel sized antenna. These are usually like four feet by 2.5 feet or something like that. And put some sort of an antenna in this, embedded in the glass and an SO239 in the middle or on the back or whatever. Now, can this be done? Yes, it can be done. It can. Note I said can, not is, but can be. Okay, there's such a thing as a fractal antenna. There was an article on fractal antennas some years back. You can look that up. But basically, you take something long like this and you put a break in it. And over here, you'd put the opposite break into it, okay? And then you take this one right here and put a proportionately sized break into it. And then, you take each of these straight lines and you can actually take this straight line right here and put a break in that. All the breaks have to look alike and so on, down like this. This obviously makes the antenna shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter until you get something that's kind of going all over the place. Now, it just randomly putting it won't work. It has to follow one of these fractal principles, okay? Now, do they exist? No. You cannot go out and buy something that looks like a solar panel that has a fractal antenna uh, installed. Um, it is possible to do it and kind of disguise it as a solar panel with a little bit of painting on a piece of plexiglass that's over your antenna. This would take a tremendous amount of work to design and build. And first you'd want to try on a piece of cardboard or something, putting the wires in the appropriate places and see if it works. It will work on a single band, usually. Okay, that's the fractal antenna. It's a very interesting thought, but there's nothing out there that would do anything. Let's look at your yard again. Okay, so you've got a a yard that looks kind of like this with with fence. Okay. Your best bet's probably a vertical. 
in here and you put out radials maybe as far as you can, try for like 30 of them, get some, uh, I would say, 12 to 14 gauge um, stranded THHN single single so it's a single piece of wire with seven strands in it okay and use those for radials and then you can put a vertical antenna up here now if you get something like the dx commander which is what i would recommend commander classic i have one of them the instructions on them um, requires that you watch some videos to get a good idea of it. And um, I had one of my best assistants try to put these up, and it collapsed the first time he put it up. So we had to sit and, and interpret some instructions together. The original version 16 instructions were pretty much useless. The 1.18 are much better. So hopefully there's a later set. You can put that right straight up here. There is a way that you can rig it so it will run on 80 meters with a wire off over the side, like over to a tree or something like that. And then you'll have all of 40, 20, da, da, da. Okay, and then you can uh, also do part of 80. Okay, no single wire antenna will do all of 80. Now this antenna happens to be what's called a fan vertical. And so you can individually adjust each channel or each band on this thing. What I usually re recommend to people uh, who have small yards like that is a vertical of some kind. I recommend the DX Commander. It's a little flimsy, but it's designed to be portable. So you can take it with you for field day or parks on the air or uh, something like that. I think it's probably a little bulky for summits on the air. Uh, and it's a good antenna. It works. I've measured it. It works as well as any other vertical. It's a vertical. It's vertical. It's full-size vertical, so it will work uh, quite well, I think, for you for a reasonable price. Now, you'll, the, you can buy radial kits from them, or you can just get the radial wire at Home, uh, home Depot, yeah, or Lowe's, someplace like that. So, there you have it, a couple alternatives for you. Do explore the fractal antennas. If you come up with one that works um, and you've got the dimensions for it, let me know. And uh, I'll try and make one like it and we'll measure it against uh, the other antennas that we have here. So there you have it, a great way to look at the backyard antenna project. And uh, if you would like to help support this channel uh, with uh, adding to channel funds, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support. I particularly recommend the tip method where you can just make a one-time good deal and throw something in the tip jar. It's set up so that it's multiples of a $1. So if you want to give $10, you pick 10 of them and that'll give you the $10. So... Until we next meet, 73.